Hello, this is Matthew Mead and this is a quick review of Axis Camera Station 5.40. There's lots of small improvements within this release, so please check the release notes to see all of the changes made in this release. Let's look at some of the new user features. In this release, we now have the ability to take a snapshot of the map. One of the user cases for taking a snapshot of the map is that it takes a snapshot of the current status of the system. So in this example, we can share that a camera has been disconnected. People can see the current status of the system and see where the coverage has been reduced. You could also share this with the person that maintains or services the system to show where the disconnection has taken place. You can also right hand click on the map and add it to your export. Adding the map to the export gives the viewer of the footage an idea of where the cameras were positioned and how the event was captured. Another change made to this release is for the configuration of Smart Search. And although this isn't a user feature, it does improve the usability and the operator experience. You can now enable background processing on individual cameras. The background processing uses spare CPU capacity of your NVR. Note that it doesn't impact on the performance of the NVR. One thing to look at is the post processing queue. You have to make sure that this number isn't increasing all of the time. The post-processing queue is every event that is taking place. And what you typically see is that the number will go down at night when there isn't much activity. It isn't recommended to enable this on external cameras, which are looking at roads where there is constant movement as the NVR will probably not catch up with the events and therefore the post-processing queue number will continue to rise. What this means is that the events are never processed, so it doesn't actually provide a benefit. I hope this has kept you up to date with the changes made in Axis Camera Station 5.40. Thank you for watching.